And right now at 6, a carjacking leads to a crime spree and the suspects on the loose. Police say the man in the surveillance picture stole a woman's car last month outside mm -hmm. a Wauwatosa gas station. Good evening. I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Shannon Sims. Michelle Fiore is live near that gas station. Now, she talked with a witness who says he nearly stepped in to stop it. Michelle. Well, Shannon and Charles, what happened at this gas station is just one example of the greater problem we're seeing these days around the Milwaukee area. Teens and early 20s stealing cars and then using those cars to commit other crimes. Wauwatosa police have tonight given us a good tool to help you see these thieves. It's a neighborhood where people generally feel safe. I've never heard of any issues around here, so it's kind of concerning. But around 9 at night, January 19th, a woman pulled her Volkswagen Jetta into one of these spots. A man appeared pounding on the roof of her car, and a Toyota sedan pulled up, blocking her exit. I knew something wasn't right. This witness, who doesn't want to be identified, was getting gas. The uh, suspects were, like, calm. I mean, they weren't loud. Matter of fact, you couldn't, I couldn't actually hear what he was saying to her. He says the woman drew attention to the situation when she loudly said, leave me alone, I have to get back to work. That's when he considered his options. I have a conceal and carry, and, uh, but I thought it through because there's other people there. We're at a gas station. Didn't know if they had a gun pointed at her and didn't want him to shoot her. So he took down the license plate number. Police say, especially at night, you want to be conscious of your surroundings. You know, if you see something that seems out of place or doesn't seem right, uh, you know, act on that instinct. It may be something as simple as going back into the store that you came from. This strong armed robbery happened around the same time of night as an attempted carjacking down the street outside Dairy Queen. The two coming so close together has people who live and work nearby feeling on edge. And the people that do have jobs and have to work late shifts and whatnot, they're nervous or afraid to work past a certain time because of the craziness that's going on around here. Since learned that the Jetta was involved in a number of robberies over the next few days, it was abandoned in Milwaukee. So too was the Toyota, and police have learned that was also a stolen vehicle. Live in Wauwatosa, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Michelle, good information. Thank you.